I'm Vince Jerka, your man on the music scene for Tampa Bay Music News, and I'm here at Janice Live to get the scoop on a special show that's happening here Friday, November 30th. It's Rock the Cure for Pediatric Cancer with Better Than Ezra and the Al Patients. Let's go inside and see if we can get the lowdown on this awesome show. All right, I'm here with Ken Jewell from Rocks the Cure and lead singer for the Outpatients. Ken, how did this whole uh, Rocks the Cure thing come about and why specifically pediatric cancer? So with the, uh, the Outpatients years ago, we had taken a, a little bit of a break, uh, got back together. We did, a, um, we did sort of a reunion gig and at the time we passed around the hat just to see if we could raise some money for the time for breast cancer. Our, our guitarist at the time, his wife was going through that, so kind of triggered a thought in my head and I said, you know what, it's a great idea. Instead of your typical, you know, black tie event and all that kind of stuff, I was like, here's people out seeing live music and they get a chance to, you know, to raise money for a good cause. Um, as far as pediatric cancer, fortunately, you know, nothing that I had uh, been affected by or my family had been affected by, but when you do the research, um, you know, pediatric cancer gets the least amount of funding of any cancer out there, any type of cancer out there. So uh, the need is huge, um, which was different than what I initially had thought. Uh, so I thought, you know, this is something we need to jump on top of. So what do people need to know about pediatric cancer? There's a huge need. Um, the funding is not out there, uh, but the research has, has done a great, great job. And you know, pediatric cancer uh, in in the early stages is has the highest mortality rate for children of any other cancer. And so, when we're talking about a real need, uh, we're talking about you know, children are dying. Uh, it's the sad, sad part behind all this. Uh, but the reality is that. There is funding, there has been some great research, and um, you know, with time, we'll be able to get more and more cures. All right, so how much money has been raised, and where does the money go to? So we've raised about $150,000 over the first three years. Uh, most of the funding goes towards research. Uh, great research like Dr. Grupp, uh, who's out of the Philadelphia uh, Children's Cancer Center, uh, and he actually has just come up with this fantastic cure. It's called CAR-T cell therapy. And it's, it's an amazing uh, evolution because it doesn't involve radiation, doesn't involve chemotherapy. It uses the children's own you know, blood cells and so forth. And what happens is it cures a form of uh, leukemia, pediatric leukemia. And that just uh, was approved by the FDA uh, just a year ago. So I think this is really cool. I heard that you take artists to the hospital to play for the kids. Is that right? Yeah, the artists are, have been fantastic. Uh, we bring them out. Uh, they go ahead and uh, play music for the kids. It gives the patients an opportunity to take their mind off of you know the day-to-day -day grind of chemotherapy and radiation and all the horrible things that they have to go through and their bodies are going through. And the artists are, are just fantastic. They're every one of them have been been uh, incredible. Ken Block, lead singer of Sister Hazel, his brother actually passed away from pediatric cancer uh, I believe it was about age 15 so um, you know everybody seems to be touched by it and uh, the artists are amazing. So Ken tell me a little bit about your band The Outpatients. Yeah so we've been around for a long time uh, we play here in the Tampa Bay area we've been uh, really working hard lately at writing uh, originals we record in Nashville out of uh, Starstruck Studios uh, we've got an EP out called Fall from Grace and then uh, some singles so uh, we're just looking to uh, to really kind of build on, on that local music vibe here in Tampa and uh, continue to put out new music. So how do people get tickets to the show? So you can go to rockstheCure.org uh, or you can go to Janice Live and just click on the link. $40 for general admission. All the VIP tickets unfortunately are already sold out or fortunately depending on how you look at it. Uh, so hopefully uh, people get out there and buy tickets and come see a, a great night of music for a great cause. We're looking forward to it. Ken, thanks a lot. We'll see you at the show. Okay, guys, Friday, November 30th, right here on this stage, it's Rocks the Cure for Pediatric Cancer Research with Better Than Ezra and the Outpatients. I'm Vince Churka, your man on the music scene for Tampa Bay Music News. I'll be here, and I hope you will too. Till next time, rock on.